In step 5, we'll add the OK and Cancel buttons, as well as some functionality to the Difficulty Settings Option Stepper and the Radio buttons. Now we'll add the final two buttons to the Options screen. Drag a button from the library to the stage below the sound slider. Give it an instance name of OK BTN. Enter OK in the label parameter of the component inspector. Drag another button to the stage to the right of the OK button and give it an instance name of Cancel BTN. Enter Cancel in the label parameter on the component inspector. Select frame 10 of the Actions layer and open the Actions panel. Directly above the Stop command, we'll need to set up the data provider for the Difficulty Option Stepper, which will insert a list of choices into the component. The choices will be Easy, Medium, Hard, and Insane. The anti-aliasing radio buttons need to be grouped in code. At the very top of the Actions panel, enter the following line of code to provide access to the Click Button Group class. Next, move down below the Difficulty Option data provider and create a new button group named AA Group. Assign Edge AA Button and Hardware AA Button to the group. Now create a function that will enable or disable the radio buttons when called. Finally, add an event listener to the anti-aliasing checkbox that invokes the function above. Save your work and test the progress.